let's see here. If I drive around, I sometimes notice the houses and buildings all around. There are also pieces of farmland that are very large. Houses can be built from different kinds of materials. The most common types are brick, wood, and vinyl or synthetic siding. Houses have lawns that need to be tended. Lawns need to be mowed regularly. Most people use riding lawnmowers to do this. You can also use a push mower. Um, these come in two varieties, gas powered and manual. And yeah, you don't see manual push mowers very much anymore, but they are a good option if you do not want to pollute the air with smoke from a gas powered lawnmower. I noticed that many families de designate the lawn mowing responsibility to a teenager in the household. Many of these teenagers are provided with an allowance for mowing the lawn as well as performing other chores like taking out the trash, washing the dishes, making their bed, and keeping the house organized. Allowances are small amounts of money given by parents to their children usually on a weekly basis. These usually range from $5 to $15, sometimes even $20. Many parents feel that teenagers can learn financial responsibility with these systems. Now I will talk about farmland. Farmland can be identified by some common features. They almost always consist of a very large patch of dirt with small green plants lined up in very long rows. You may sometimes see farm equipment riding over these rows like tractors or combines. These machines help farmers grow more crops in less time. They are a very helpful invention. Some different types of crops are soybeans, cotton, corn, tomatoes, tobacco, and lettuce, which I mentioned earlier. Most crops are used as food and can be defined as either fruits or vegetables. Some are commonly eaten raw after being rinsed in water to remove any dirt. Some are often cooked, which helps give them a more pleasant taste and makes them easier to chew. A very versatile vegetable is the potato. It can be eaten raw or it can be cooked in a variety of ways. They can be baked and many people like to add butter to them. They can be mashed, and a lot of times brown gravy or milk gravy is poured on top of them. They can be cut into thin strips and fried. Typically a large amount of grease is required to prepare potatoes in this style, but they are easy to make and easy to eat. You can order them at several fast food restaurants. Potatoes can be boiled, stewed, and scalloped. There is a wide variety of options available to you when you cook potatoes. 